Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Xenovision. Grand Theft Auto just came up with a new update two weeks ago, so in this tutorial we're going to be installing the newest Grand Theft Auto LSPTFR. If you have never installed this before, this video is also perfect for you. Stay tuned, this video is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to install and play this. Before we get started, I just want to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you find any value in this video, which you will, please smash the like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. We also have a Discord channel, so if you want to join the community, please do. There will be a link in the description. So let's get started. Okay, to make this work, we're going to download and install four files. I will leave the link in the description of all the links. It will be one link that will redirect, redirect to all the other links. So let's get started by downloading this first file. It's the LSPDF first responder file. We're just going to hit install on the exe file and then we're going to let that download. We're going to go to the next one. That's going to be simple trainer. It will give you a menu like you see here. You can turn on God mode uh, or respawn or weapons, respawn, spawn cars, whatever you want, change the weather. So it is pretty awesome to have this also. Uh, let it also download. Oh, I see the first one has not downloaded yet. Let me see. Let's just refresh that. There you go. Then we go to the third website that will be the Rage Native UI. As you can see, this will be the link uh, to the main Rage new UI uh, website. I will leave the link in this uh, of this website instead of the file direct because sometimes they will come up with an update. So if you go on this website, you will here have the latest version. You just click that, and then you'll hit download on RageNativeUI.zip. Okay. Also download, and the last file is going to be script hook v. So let's hit download there also. There you go, folks. That is the four files that we downloaded. Okay, after you downloaded the files, as you can see on my left side, I've even given them numbers. So uh, the next thing you want to do is to keep your Grand Theft Auto main directory folder open. As you can see, it's here on the right side with me. I have multiple folders, as you can see, and I always like to have a clean version. So this one is the clean version. I also have a backup on other drive of the clean version. So typically I have two clean versions just in case, and I have different settings plugins as you can see for these folders so I separate what I want like this one is the Dutch version of Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR now we're gonna do an English American version so I also have one with Spider-Man and one with Iron Man I like to separate them okay so whenever you want to play one of these I'm just gonna explain it quickly you're just gonna change the name to the original one hit enter and now you can play that version okay so if you want to go online make sure you have a clean version like me and if uh, you always just play with the clean version you just change the name and then you can play that version but change the other name like i did also so there should only be one folder with this name okay so this will be our clean version as you can see and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up number one and we're gonna let that load up and this, what, what this is going to do is going to install uh, the first phase of Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR. So we're going to hit OK for the language. English, we're going to hit Next, Agree. And we're going to install. Install. And we're going to launch it. We're going to hit Next. Show License. We're gonna hit OK right here. Accept. Do it for me. It has been successfully installed. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, uh, we're, that first step is done. We're gonna go to number two. That's the uh, training menu. We're gonna unzip it with WinRAW. Extract. And we're going to open it up and here you have a few files 
the files that we are going to select are these two and we're going to drag and drop them in the grand theft auto main directory we're going to hit okay for the administration rights and then we're going to go back that's also done so then we're going to go to the rage native ui and we're going to extract it we can do the winrar or with the windows version and there you have it and then we have two files we're just going to select them and drag and drop them drag and drop them in the grand theft auto main directory folder And then we're going to go to the last one. That will be the script hook V. We're going to open that one. Here you will have a bin folder. When we open up the bin folder, you can dry, uh, select all three files. And you can drag and drop them in your Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. We're going to hit continue. 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 And that's about it, folks. Now it is pretty pretty much installed and I always like to delete the unzipped folder so now I have a clean untouched folder right here so now what we can do is we can actually start up Grand Theft Auto so for me I have the Rockstar launcher so I'm gonna open up the Rockstar launcher okay the Rockstar launcher is open what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our Grand Theft Auto main directory we're not gonna start a Grand Theft Auto yet through the uh, Rockstar Launcher, we're going to open up a file called Rage Plugin Hook. We're going to double click on it. We're going to hit yes for the administration rights. And here it says uh, some files has been blocked. You want to unblock, unblock them? Yes, we do. If you like this video until now, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. If you have any feedback for me, also leave them in the comments. Thank you very much. Let's hit OK here. And this is the first time uh, opening it, so you always get this. And the first thing we're going to change is the plugin timeout threshold, threshold. And we're going to make the one a six. And then the second thing we have here is we can load all plugins on start. Uh, uh, we, we're just going to leave these settings as it is. But what we are going to do is we're going to hit backup current version. We're going to do this uh, in case Grand Theft Auto updates again like they did before. You won't be able to play Grand Theft Auto LSPTFR anymore unless you back up the game and you revert it through this uh, system right here. So now we've backed it up as you can see. And uh, that's all good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit save and launch. Now you're going to get this window open. It's going to load up Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR through the Rage plugin hood. So from now on, if you want to play, you will be using this file right here. So I recommend you, you can just add it to your start or uh, uh, send make a uh, shortcut anywhere you prefer. Now let's wait up for to load it up. Okay, as you can see, we installed it within uh, eight minutes, by the way, just to make uh, make it clear. On our right uh, down corner, you'll see it is in, uh, playing with the Rage plugin hook, LSPDFR. Keep in mind, if it didn't open Grand Theft Auto on the first try, just uh, uh, close down Rockstar Launcher and reopen it, or in worst case scenario, restart your PC once. That'll only happen in the beginning. After that, it will just open through the Rage plugin hook. Okay, uh, it's loading up, so let's skip this part and I'll show you how to play for a minute. Okay, Grand Theft Auto is fully loaded up, so let's go ahead and go outside. The first thing that we're, we are going to test is we're going to hit the F3 menu. Uh, keep in mind, I am using the PlayStation 5 controller uh, to make this work on the keyboard. After hitting F3 on the uh, keyboard, you'll go and hit the numpad on the right of your keyboard. That will be... Uh, 2 with the arrow down is going down, 8 will be going up, and 5 will be OK. So then if you want the God Mode, we'll hit 5 again for OK. So play around in this menu, there's a lot of options. You can spawn any vehicle you want, and change the weather, change the time, you can teleport to places. You can do whatever you want practically, so I recommend everyone having this. OK, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Escape. First time you install LSPDFR, you would need to go to uh, the nearest police station and you need to make a character. That's actually this, 
the first step you need to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's taken us exactly not to the one we want to go, but that's okay. Okay. We're going to hit right on the numpad or see what it says on the upper left corner. Okay, it will ask you to go on duty. We're going to hit X. And now you are going to have to make a character. I'm going to hit OK on that also. And here you can make male, female, uh, choose everything you want. I'm just going to keep it uh, as it is. Save and continue. And we're going to use it. After you do that, then you will be uh, taking this screen right here. We're going to hit police locker. You can choose any outfit you want and your uh, uh, inventory. And then we're going to go to police police garage. And we're going to select whatever vehicle you want. <coughs> hit select and continue. And there you have it folks, now we're playing Grand Theft Auto LSPDMR. We're playing officially GTA as a officer. So from here on out you can uh, go ahead, you can pull people over and, uh, and much much more. I recommend installing some more plugins. Check out my channel because I have a Grand Theft Auto play, uh, tutorial. So how you can install the best plugins and much much more. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. Also, you can join my Discord if you have any questions. And uh, uh, if you want to know more plugins, please check out my Grand Theft Auto playlist. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.